They're just, like, plundering. They're not even taking their shots. I mean, don't get me wrong, the plundering's really gonna be annoying. But... Yeah, we're... I appreciate that you're not doing any damage to my units, though, bro. Alright. I'm gonna step forward with the Immortal. Uh, I'm gonna shoot with this Archer. Excellent. That means this Immortal can... Not shoot there? Is this a hill? That is a hill! I mean, it doesn't matter. Not, in neither situation could both people have fired because of the hills and whatnot, but... I guess this Immortal's not doing anything this round. Okay, fine. Um, I think the Archer's gonna fire here. And then this Immortal... Oh, can still fire. Okay, if I move, it would end my turn, because this is a hill. So, I will fire. I was thinking about moving, but... I can do that. Oh, he actually got a promotion, which is a bit annoying. So you can't do anything. You are going to come over here and clear that marsh. And there's no threats over there. This is a little bit risky, since we are at war. It's fine. Could possibly go wrong. We do need another trade route. Is this just me or that encampment symbol? No, I don't know why some of these pins are turning red. Something weird with one of the, the like, the way the CQUI is working right now. It's making some of these, like, pins colored red, but that's supposed to be a commercial hub. Alright, you, uh, I guess you're gonna keep scouting up north. I'll pr I can probably automate you again in a second. So, you're gonna scooch forward this way. Sumeria brought me a present! Sumeria's like, oh, I feel so bad for declaring war on you. I bring you a gift, a peace offer. That is so sweet and thoughtful and considerate. Aw. Thank you, Sumeria. I'm going to come over here and... How can we still have movement? Oh, there is a road there! Oh, okay. So I could have moved and shot last time. I didn't think there'd be a road there. Why is there a road there? Where's this road go? That's strange. All right. Scooch up, and your turn. And yeah, clear this marsh. Growing Silent Flame up to size 6. It is now, like, at the so the, the softer of the housing caps. So it's not going to grow quite as quickly, but the exercise is not actually that helpful because you're actually working an unimproved tile over here. So we'll see if we can do something about that. But your borders are going to grow in 7 turns, so you're going to be fine soon enough. Districts come with roads. Uh... And I guess Wonders, too, which is why when I wonder if you get beaten to it, you still get the circle road that's left there. Okay. That was one of those things where I was, like, sort of softly aware of it, but I hadn't really, like, completely uploaded it into my brain. Why are these colors different? It's like, this one doesn't have the war color. Maybe because it's a unique unit and something's not quite kicking in. So it's nice to have that range. So I gotta take care of the more dangerous unit first. You can't actually shoot. But I can move here and then take a shot and then move the archer forward and that'll be okay. I don't know where the hell this guy is going. I mean, I gotta finish this guy off, right? Yeah. Or or not, but, you know, close enough. Then move forward and that ends your turn, but that's okay. Um, I guess I'll just build a farm here. Or the paradise. Although the paradise... I have to be reminded. Para. Okay, let's just look at Persia there. Does it get a bonus when it's adjacent to the city center? Yes, it does. Plus one gold. So we're actually going to build a paradise over there. Okay. Stupid one hit point. Careful there, Scythia. I'd love to chop all this uh, jungle around here, this rainforest, and accelerate that. Okay, time to change things. Change government! So, oligarchy. We're going to get plus four combat strength, 20% bonus experience for our units. Uh, yes, please. We are going to get rid of colonization. We're going to pick up a goge over here. Um, we need to run natural philosophy because it's going to be amazing. It's going to give us an extra five science. It's going to be huge. We're going to keep the influence points. We're going to keep inspiration. Because we are still hoping to get whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit. Whatcha who Uh Galileo Galilei. We are still okay, unmet player is now making more points. We are still higher in timing. And we still have a good amount of faith. Hopefully we can get close in faith by him still, because he's gonna be huge for us. Alright, let's do that, which is gonna be fine. Um 
Ah, my wall is just finished. That's perfect because I can use the walls. Although, wouldn't it be nice? I know this is this is something you guys have never heard of before. But wouldn't it be nice if there had been an alert or some sort of notice as we cycle through here to to remind us that hey, we've got a city that can bombard right now? Just a weird suggestion, off the cuff. You know, just, just sperm a moment came to me. Um, if anyone wanted to like tweet at Firaxis with hashtag like make city attack great again and and ask them for city alerts for uh, for bombardments that that maybe that would be a really good idea i don't know just saying just just came to me just like that so um obviously we got to murder this guy in the face so i'm trying to figure out the best way to do that um i think well i'm going to move here shoot you and I don't think we'll be able to do it. I think we'll be able to, to kill the warrior. But that's it. Uh, that's a marsh. I think it'll eat both my movement to move in there. So I will finish him. Although this guy is just going to run away. And I can't actually capture him right now. And this archer can't do anything this turn. Which is too bad. And yes, you're going to build a paradise. It's going to give us plus three gold, plus one culture. The extra gold because of being adjacent to our city. So that's lovely. Machinery, we don't want to overbuild this. We really, um, probably Soylent Flame over here is going to queue up an archer. 12 turns, there we go. That's going to be our third archer, which is fine. Uh, Calgos, so we already have two immortals. I think Calgos, oh, we can build a heavy chariot. Good, 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 good. Right, so only got two movement, but plus one movement if it starts on a flat tile. What's its strength? 28. What's our spearman strength? 25. Okay, so we will build a heavy chariot to attempt to capture the city. It might have up to three move, which will be handy. So we're going to do that. I suppose we could also capture the city with a scout. Surprisingly, war was declared on Quill. That's right. Oh, lovely. The settler is like, no, no, really, I'm supposed to be a gift. Please capture me. Well, I mean, if he asked so nicely. So sure, of course. Thank you very much, Samaria. I appreciate it. As a result, maybe I won't burn down every single one of your goddamn cities. Maybe. We'll see. Pew. Pew. Um, and I guess we just got to keep laying the beats on the one, the same person. It's unfortunate we didn't kill him, but uh, that'll have to do. No, I don't normally wear headphones. The reason I'm doing it is because when we are done the Civ part of the stream, not a surprise, uh, that's not good enough. Um, when we are done the Civ part of the stream, I will be playing... Um, did we lose a unit? Holy shit, we did lose the archer. Wow. Bombard plus this plus that. That's actually really disappointing. Uh, I'll be playing a steel division with Briarstone. Um, and we're going to be chatting with each other on, on Discord or whatever. And uh, we're, we're safe. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this this guy. Maybe, maybe settle up here, which is probably going to upset her. We'll see how it goes. Um... And uh, I'll need ed headphones for that. And if I try to switch my audio devices midstream, weird things happen. So I just wanted to prep ahead of time. So I'm going to do that. So I'm actually going to need two archers. So we're still going to need the heavy chariot. But you're going to put out an archer first. So that we can complete the rush over here. So that was a bit unfortunate. Perhaps sloppy or was it? I mean, it's kind of the whole part of grabbing that guy. I... I'm wondering if I should move forward at all. I don't think I need to. Although if I do, it'll open up more movement options for the archer next turn. Although if there's more Sumerian stuff coming out of here, that can make it dangerous. No, I think we'll stay in place. I'm going to double tap this fellow. I think I do get an, a combat penalty standing on this territory, but I guess I could have moved here and do that. But again, it could open up additional risk. And this is theoretically a little bit safer. So I want to finish that water mill because it's a huge production boost. And it should boost us towards some sort of tech. Might be construction, I don't remember. Quill City's near a desert. Petra! Maybe. There you go. Boost towards construction because we finished the walls. So you're just going to keep running away for now. Um, can that scout reach us? With the river crossing... No, I think the river crossing will eat all his movement, so I think it's going to be okay. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to retake our unit, but it'd be better if we didn't have to. Um, again, I think I'll play it a little safer with the archer and leave him back here. Before I shoot, hold on. I'm going to start with this guy. I will move him here 
Because it's a relatively good defensive position. Gets me off the marsh. And I can still shoot. Good. Actually, him being down makes me feel a little bit more confident about moving my archer up here. So that's going to be good. Plus, we got the promotion pending. It'd be nice if this guy had a promotion. Because then I could heal him up. Archer, archer. You're almost good. We're going to hard research games and recreation because there's no other options for us. Six turn to the settler. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, so machinery, we will put in one more turn of tech. I think this scout can actually take this. So we might have to be ready to deal with that. I don't think that I'm going to march on the city with the units as is, so it's probably fine for me to do something kind of like this and make sure that I can bot this scout afterwards if you can escape. Oh, this trade route just finished. That's very convenient. Um, I think we are going to move you to Tarsus. So we can send get some growth in Tarsus, get a road built as well. That's going to be really helpful. Problem is I won't be able to shoot the scout this turn. Or I could peace out with him. You know what? It's not very much money. But this will prevent him from taking the scout. There's no reason for me to keep doing the war now. Because, so I could peace out, give me enough turn to build up my troops, then I get to declare a, a surprise war, and when I declare a surprise war, for the next 20 turns, all my units a plus two move. I will take your chocolate! If it was anything else, maybe I'd say no. But I will take your chocolate. And yes, you're right, I have to rename Tarsus, thank you very much. What? No, he didn't take that before he peace. you shithead of a game. He did not take that before sending the peace thing. You did not alert me to that effect. Otherwise, I would have said no. Oh, well. I thought I was peacing out to stop him from doing that. Because I was like, oh, if I peace out now, he won't be able to take the scout. It's perfect. Stupid game not letting me know all the information. Doesn't matter. Now he gets to settle, and then I just take it. And then, you know, it's great. It'll um, He'll build some stuff for me using his 80% production boost. So that's okay. Block him in? Uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, he can still escape this way, unless I purchase some tiles. I need to save my money for the upgrades, though. So, we gotta switch out of machinery at this point. Um... Might as well pick up currency. It doesn't really matter too much. And yeah, I could buy a tile over here, but... It's fine. He'll just go and settle somewhere, and then I'll just take the city later on. It's okay. It's a little, it's a little annoying. But it's okay. Uh, yeah, you can sit in friendly territory so that I can upgrade you. We've got to go and fix some things momentarily. So that's going to kick in. That's fine. Yeah, Wonder Contractor. That's all it is. Interesting choice for your movement, actually. And actually, having done that, what I should have done is actually kept you around that way. Terracotta army's been built. Okay. Right, there's a unit that's still waiting for promotion, which we will have to do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to chase over here. What I think it might be time to do is move a unit back over here, actually, to be ready to make sure there's no barbarians over there. Uh, we got a couple of tips that came in. We got one from Richie Taco. Thank you very much, Richie. Can I join the war? Love your vids. Well, thank you very much, Richie. And of course you can join any of my wars. My wars are for everyone. I'm, you know, an all-inclusive sort of person. So if you want to fight, just go nuts, man. And Pet Terminator 97. Thank you very much. Hey, I really like your stream and YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for opening my eyes for Paradox Games. And you have to come and visit Norway. I know I do. Someone needs to have a thing happen in Norway to make me go out there. That's all it is. Some, someone make up a, like, a game com and invent, invite me or something like that. Because I really want to see Norway. Boop! Haha! <laughs> Trapped. Uh, so you are just going to rest. You can go ahead and take your promotion. Um, for Tortoise, which will help us take cities, actually. Which is going to be very nice. Because now you can't go through those spots. I mean, you could work your way around through Tarsus. 
because we can't really block you from going through uh, through candy over here, but you might get very confused for a while. And yeah, your job is still to go over there. I think I'm... Yeah, okay, good. Still clicked correctly. We're two turns away from that settler, which is lovely. Tech is all good. That archer, that will boost our um, machinery, which is good. We've got our heavy chariot getting ready to go. Um, and what we might do is we might just keep pumping out crossbows. Now, I can't even, like... I can't even declare war at all right now. Okay. Just just confirming that that is true. I can't, I can't truce break or anything. Sorry, I just did a lot of that in the U4, so I'm all ready to break all the truces now. I think we're okay. Oh, yes, Tarsus, thank you. Every time. And the science person. Uh Oh, hey, this is a name we've seen before. It's Jezagaya. Jezagaya. Welcome to the party, and yes, let's take a look at Galileo Galilei. Still 2,400 faith, so that's no good. Um, and yet, yeah, where our great people points are really not quite as crazy. It'd be nice to get another uh, campus up. This is a decent spot for a campus. I could buy some tiles up to there, but again, I, I really need to upgrade my archers, so I don't think that's practical, unfortunately. Money, if it does not bring you happiness will at least help you be miserable and comfortable. If bread is the first necessity of life. A couple of things just finished. That's good. You have all your moves. We will link the two of you together and then instruct you to move over that way. Thank you very much. Uh, so we got to choose both a civic and a research. We have been the target of a declaration of war, so we can get a boost towards this, which I think is fine. Let's just go ahead and do that now. Research-wise, we've got still this... Oh, yes. Um, no, we don't research this. Derp, derp. Hey, look, it's the Petra. We're not building the Petra. Um, I think we can just do the horseback riding because it is very quick and we've got the boost. And over here, if I went and did something like that, that would actually be sufficient to block those guys in. So we'll do that. Probably he's going to try to escape over there, but that's okay. I mean, I suppose I could track him. That's an idea. I could track him so that when I declare war, I can take it right away. But then my units would be out of position. I think I'm mostly going to ignore that. In fact, I'm worried if I should just let him go. He might be trying to go around this way and back over there, which I would be totally okay with. I think I'm mostly going to ignore him. I'll leave this little blockade here. Or what I could do is move in and out. Like, oh, no, you can come back. Oh, no, sorry, I sealed that up again. Oh, you can come this way. No, I sealed it up again. That might be the best way to handle things. Okay, five turns away from the archer, which is good. I'm concerned. I'm only two turns faster. It's going to mostly come down to who's got the faith, I think. Who's been playing for around 40 minutes, no war? Did, did you just miss the war? <laughs> Where we kicked Gilgamesh's ass and took his chocolate? Although, I thought I was also taking a settler, so I'm kind of bitter that that was not the case. Still worried about her declaring war, but we are going to have some walls here in just guys soon, which is nice. Growing slowly. We might want to buy some more time. We could... Oh, that's true. Some I think some people said buy the road tile. Because then I think it would pin this person in completely. But we need we need our gold for our upgrades. In fact, in three turns, we're going to want to make sure this archer is within our territory somewhere. So that we can upgrade relatively quickly. I don't know what the upgrade cost will be. But I think we can upgrade both. I don't know about all three. But the two with promotions anyway. So yeah, I might sit you in like in the woods. We might like actually set up a little Ford base over here to be ready to fight with the defenses of the woods. So this is going to annoy me because I don't think this candy and catapult has moved in a couple turns. We're going to wait a tick. Okay, thank you. I'm going to say, don't make me declare war on you, candy, just because you're standing in my goddamn spot. Because well I'm going to be pretty salty if that were the case. We're going to found a city over here. We are going to name it... Red Danster! Beautiful coastal city over here. Um, I don't know what this pin was supposed to be. I think this is supposed to be a industrial zone. Yes, yes it is. That is the plan. Uh, choose more research. I mean, we'll just research things we've got the boost for already, so we may as well pick up construction. That's fine. I don't think we're beelining towards anything in specific. I do need to repair some stuff, but I think it's worth taking a little bit of time to uh, construct some more units. Um, 
I could consider a second heavy chariot. I do need a builder to fix this stuff, though. It's part of it. But I'm actually thinking I might squeeze out one catapult. I realize we have an excess of range stuff. Um, but the catapult... Well, okay. Catapult's got the 35. I don't remember. what What is the crossbow? 40. It doesn't have a bonus against cities, but it's going to be pretty much just as good. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, Apanada. Oh, yes, yeah, so you get the envoys and stuff, which is quite cool. I'm wondering about a second heavy chariot as a backup. That's what I'm going to do. In case we lose it, and then we can't take a city for a million years, and that would be very annoying. I don't think I have to rush walls over here. I think I'm going to get the monument up first. Not worried about buying tiles. The city-states don't really expand that quickly. You go there, you go there. Again, we could buy this tile, but... Unit upgrades. Although, you keep it completely isolated and guarantee 100% that I can take it as soon as the war starts. Alright, fine. There. Completely pin him in. A repair of the holy site would be good. But, short term. I'm really, I want this war to happen with the timing that we're sort of building towards. We've got an envoy, which is very nice. Um... I could put one in and guarantee the Jerusalem stays on my side. That's not really important. Uh, we, I think we kind of need to actually dedicate some points towards Candy over here. Because we need to be in a position to maybe block Gilgamesh from taking Candy. Because that actually would be super annoying. Especially since Candy's got freaking um, catapults going on here. Oh, we can name this unit. That's right. Level 2. Let's do that. You are going to be named... Tust13. Bam. So you guys can just go into alert mode or something like that. So I don't need to keep this archer over here. I feel very, very fine with not keeping an archer here. So we want to move it to the front and be ready to do some upgrades. So I'm going to move it kind of in that direction. We'll see what goes on. We got a couple more tips, I think, that just came in here. Oh, quite a few. Let's see here. We got Kralamulala. <laughs> Kralamulala. Mulala. Which is a fun name to say. Uh, buy some chocolate at my expense and come see Denmark one day. It's quick to get around with mostly flat land. Keep up the good work. I have been to Denmark, um, and I do hope to come back soon, because that would be very, very nice. Uh, love Denmark a lot. It is funny how flat it is. It's true. And you guys are way into bridges as well. And all of your castles have burnt down usually more than once. When I was there, um, I was there for, like, I don't know, a week? Couple weeks, I guess. On a, on a vacation that started this year, in January. And, uh, no, last year, January. Something like that. Anyway, uh, and we went and visited, you know, all the castles and everything like that. And every single castle, like when you're reading about the history, it burned down, was rebuilt. It burnt down, was rebuilt. So, what the hell? What are you making your castles out of? Balsa wood? Something wrong with you, Danes. 